else hate the humidity? Ugh. Hello, hello, welcome back to Book Tutors. This week I am going to be showing you some of my favourite books to read over the summertime. It's currently summer in Australia, so I thought it would be a really good time to just show you some of the books that I've either read over the summertime or books that I would just usually pick up in the summertime just for a light read. So let's go! So the first book I have is the Rebel Bell series written by Rachel Hawkins. These books are one of my favourite series. There's currently two books in the series and there's a third one coming out this year called Lady Renegade. I love reading these books. I've read them about three times. In the series we've got Rebel Bell which is the first book and Miss Mayhem which is the second book. This tells the tale of the young southern girl called Harp Price and she is getting ready for Cotillion and she has all these amazing friends. She's quite high up in the popularity at school. Without spoiling the book, it's a really good story about how the female role becomes the superhero. So she has to protect um, a boy at her school that she doesn't like. She's empowered with all these physical powers that usually are reserved for like Superman or any other superhero character that's male. So she has to save the day for the boy and I love that and I love her wit. She's really funny. I know I've caught myself laughing a few times out loud. And another reason this is a summer favourite for me is because it's set in the southern states of America. I know the weather can get quite warm down there, so if it's quite warm here, I like to sort of hunker down with a book that reminds me of the weather that I'm currently experiencing. So when it's summer here, I love to read a book that's set in sort of the warmer climate. Changing up the pace a little bit now, the next book is Miranda Hearts Is It Just Me? Now I've watched the TV show Miranda and I absolutely fell in love with it. It is such a funny show and she is absolutely hilarious. She's easily one of my favourite comedians. I love the humour in this book. It's like I can hear her in my head. She also has illustrations in her book. I just love how she tells the story of her life and with the humour that she does in her show and it's just a fun read but it's one of those books where you can put it down and pick it up and especially in this time of year when it's really hot and you don't want to delve into something too heavy this is fantastic for that. I have read this, I've started reading this book over the summer, I've even taken it overseas with me when I've had a long haul flight to Europe and it's just a really good book and it's so funny. The first time I read this series was over the summertime, so I always associate it with summer, and I really love to reread this in the warmer month. And it's of course the High Society books written by Ali Carter. These books are fantastic, and it reminds me a lot of Ocean's Eleven. So if you're looking for something with adventure and espionage and mind games and awesome characters, these are the books for you. I also love this series because it takes you to different places around the world and Europe and stuff. The main character, Katrina Bishop, is a really interesting character to read about and she's not, she's very three-dimensional so she's got a lot of character traits and flaws. That's part of what makes her amazing as a character and you really get to know her and her friends throughout the books and it reminds me a lot of Ocean's Eleven for teenagers. I mean that in a good way because they are all teenagers but they have the skills that the teen from Ocean Eleven had in the films and I love it. Sometimes you get bogged down in fantasies and dystopian novels and it's really nice when you have an adventure book like this one where you can just sort of follow what they're doing and excited and terrified at the same time that they're going to get caught. So this series is amazing. You've got High Society, Uncommon Criminals and the third one is Perfect Scoundrels. Last on my list for my summer favourite is the Darkest Powers series written by Kelly Armstrong. The first book, The Summoning, is a fantastic gateway book into this amazing world that Kelly has created and I absolutely love this series. I initially picked this up, put it to the side, didn't read it until one day I needed something new to read and I picked up this book and I kid you not, I fell straight into the world that she created. I could not put this down until I was literally about to fall unconscious from exhaustion. That's how good this book was. I know that's a little bit over the top, but it was so good. The main character Chloe is really relatable, especially early on in the story, where she's sort of uncomfortable with her, not quite knowing who she is. And also, you know, she's going through lots of changes in her life, physically and emotionally, and she's really relatable as a character. And of course, the supernatural elements come into it, and she discovers that she's able to communicate with the dead. 
and I think that it is just such a cool power. Not that I would personally want it because that's terrifying. I'm scared of ghosts. But I think it's really cool that she is able to communicate with them and through the series she becomes such a strong character, such a leader and it's so fantastic to see the progression over the series. I love reading this book series over summertime because I started in the summer for one and also it's such an easy read. You can just dive straight into them and you will finish them in no time. You'll actually be wanting more. I know there are novellas of the story but I haven't had a chance to read them. In this series, you've got The Summoning, The Awakening, and The Reckoning. Well guys, that's just some of my favourite summer reads. If there's any books that you love reading over the summertime, please let me know down in the comments because I would love to know what books you get into during the summertime. It can be a standalone book or it could be a series, it doesn't matter. If you like this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up or even a subscription and all my social media links are down below. Until next time guys, bye!